Okay, now we are doing the challenge for the advanced formulas, use numbers, currency, and percentage in formulas. So please read through the explanation over here. Why do I skip all this explanation and go right ahead to the challenge? Because the possibilities of formulas are totally endless. So I don't see a point on discussing a particular example of formulas while there are 5,000 more examples that we can discuss. And, you know, discussing about a particular example on here doesn't um, give you the understanding of understanding all kinds of other formulas that you can build. So let's do the challenge and I'm very certain that you would understand everything that is being discussed here because it's very straightforward, very relevant and it's not confusing at all. So, without further ado, let's do this challenge. So your company sells cylindrical hyperbaric chambers. You need a formula field that calculates the volume of a cylinder for you, rounded to the nearest whole number. So it's, it has to be rounded, okay? Given its radius um, and, and height, use the existing mathematical formula for the volume of cylinder V stands for volume equals pi times the radius power of two times the height of the cylinder. Okay, pretty straightforward. So let's dive in. So first off, we want to create two custom fields um, with a type of number on the opportunity object. Radius, which is resulting name radius C and then height height C, okay, and those two are numbers. Do you have a decimal? Let's just put two decimals, probably. They don't mention how many decimals. So go to your setup and dive into opportunity object here. Fields and relationships, I'm going to create two new custom fields, which is a number on here. And next, name this radius 16.2 and next, visible, next, add to page layout so we can test it out. And then one more is height, it's also a number, okay, next. And it's height 16.2 as well. And that's it. Next, visible. Next. And lastly, which is the challenge, the formula. Okay. So the formula name should be cylinder volume, like that opportunity object and we can enter in the formula and it's zero decimal points. Okay, let's build that formula is cylinder volume like that. It's a number with zero decimal. Number zero decimal. Next. Now here comes the formula. Opportunity um, advance, I like doing it at advance since you are an advanced admin now. Radius time height, right? Radius. Okay, that's the radius. And the formula is this. Pi, which is this number, times radius power of 2, right? And then times height. So I'm just going to make it simple pi times radius power of 2 meanings meaning another one because it's a power of 2 times height opportunity height okay height and then we want to round it up right we want to round it up it says to round 
round it to the nearest whole number okay okay let's do that let's round to the wholest to the nearest whole number so we're going to use round okay round this whole thing here let's see what do we have for round always consult your number of digits zero whole number so zero so pi times radius times radius times height and round it to zero boom looks good and let's test it out see if we got that right visible and next add it to all page layout so we can go here and make a new one test number two close day today stage prospecting and we have a new field here where are our new field the height and the radius yeah it takes a while i remember so let's refresh our page hopefully it's now available here do we see it yep radius height see um i'm gonna take test number two close date is one stage is prospecting if the radius is i don't know let's make it simple two the height is 10 okay what would be the volume if i save this guy and back to details the volume is 126 check this out 3.14 which is pi times 2 times 2 times 10 ah we got it baby so let's check our challenge i'll see you on the next one which is Use date, date, time, and time formulas. Fun. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor. Like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.